Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing extremely fine. My name is Prince and you are watching the tech stream. In this video, I am going to show you the latest update of Nameless AOSP ROM for the OnePlus 8 series devices and OnePlus 9R. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. If I go into the about info section, you can see that the ROM is Nameless OSP based on Android 12.1 and the Android security patch is 5th May 2022 and the build number is 1st June 2022. The ROM comes with a lot of improvement and fixes and I am going to show you all of them. First First of all, the ROM passes the safety net out of the box and all the banking and payment services work fine without any hiccups. The widevine status is also L1, so you will be able to enjoy all the HD content on the streaming websites. If we talk about the launcher, the ROM comes with three launchers. Yes, you heard it right. In the settings, you have the options to select for default launcher and you can select between pixel launcher, aimless launcher or launcher. You need to reboot your device for changing a launcher. And as you can see, I have selected launcher as my default launcher and if I go into launcher settings, you can see that you can get all the options that are present in the latest version of launcher. Talking about the battery, the battery backup is just great and I am getting somewhere around 6 to 6 and a half hours of screen on time without much gaming. And the charging speeds are also fine. My OnePlus 8T charged from 1 to 100% in about 40 to 50 minutes and I have not faced any heating issues as such. Overall the battery consumption is excellent. Comment down how much screen on time are you getting on this ROM. Now let me show you some benchmark results. In Geekbench the device scores 903 in single core and 2838 in multi core. The single core performance has been higher than Oxygen OS 11 while the multi-core performance is slightly lower. In CPU throttling, the CPU throttled to 75% of its max capacity which is a little low. Maybe it is because of the 43 to 45 degrees of ambient temperature. Moving on to the change logs of this build. First up, the status bar brightness control has been improved from the previous builds and it is now much more accurate. Moving on, the quick setting header height and padding has been improved. Next, there are some fixes regarding the ambient clock and lock screen timeout. Next up, there are some changes regarding the launcher also. Both the launcher and nameless launcher have been updated to the latest build. Talking about the device change logs, the kernel has been synced with the latest meteoric kernel improving the performance and battery even more. So that was it for the change logs. Apart from that you get all the previous customizations. I am not going to cover all those in this video. Watch the full review video in the i button if you want to see all the customizations. If we talk about on BGMI on this ROM, yes the ROM does support full 90 FPS in BGMI. You can see that the FPS meter here shows 90 FPS. The gaming performance has also been super smooth without any lags and frame drops as such. I really enjoy playing BGMI on this ROM. Comment down if you want a full gaming review of this ROM. Finally, overall the ROM has been just great. It is buttery smooth. The app opening and closing animations has been very fast. The face unlock and fingerprint unlock speeds are also very very good. You get an oxygen OS camera and gallery app fully working and you get 90 FPS gameplay in BGMI. And everything else about this ROM is just amazing. You will also receive timely OT updates and the latest features. Honestly, this is one of my favorite ROM on OnePlus 8 series devices. Thank you to the developer for putting in so much effort. That's all for this video. Comment down if you want a video on how to install this ROM on OnePlus 8T. Also, I make a lot of ROM reviews and I'll be trying another Android 12 ROMs. Subscribe to the channel to not miss those videos. Thank you for watching.